Since 1902, Heinemann Settlement School has been a wellspring of education and enlightenment and an advocate for local culture in central Appalachia, evolving and adapting according to the requirements of the region. For more than 100 years, people have crossed the bridge over Troublesome Creek to the school's campus in pursuit of success, of their heritage, of a brighter future. When I came here in 1930, uh, uh, this is the most remarkable place in those days I ever heard of, in some sense primitive, in other ways, but rather sophisticated. It was a little New England island in those days. I thought of it as such because most of the teachers came from the East. We had four years of Latin from this wonderful Ann Cobb who was brilliant. She taught French, she two years of French, she taught American history, and I can see, remember how she used to cry when she would read us John Brown's body when we were studying the Civil War. In those early years, it was the founders, May Stone and Catherine Pettit. And then later on, Miss Elizabeth Watts, who gave her entire life to this institution. And as you look at the history of this place, you see people who've given so much. And today, that continues. I think that's one of the great things about this institution. Changing times and a changing populace have challenged the school to reinvent its ministry time and again over the decades. Today, the school specializes in teaching children with learning differences, especially those with dyslexic characteristics. Jeffrey's future looked very bleak. You know, it was, it was black, actually. They found he had a real high IQ, but was on third grade level reading and math and couldn't curse a fright or anything, you know, and he was in the sixth grade. I thought, well, I'm stupid and never going to be able to do much anyway. Why, why keep on working in schools? And then uh, my mom said, well, there's this program in Hyman. And so I went. I learned actually what my problem is, and I learned how to deal with it. In six weeks, they did exactly what a school system couldn't do in four years, basically. In third grade, my son John was behind. He had not learned to read yet, and didn't know the alphabet. I think it was affecting him emotionally. It's very difficult not being able to read because there's this whole world outside of you and you're isolated to just seeing pictures. That year at Martin Luther King Day, he looked at me and said, Mom, I have got a dream. When I grow up and I'm a father, and I have a son, and he comes to me and says, can you read me a book? I want to be able to read to him. So we say a lot of prayers and thanks for this school. My connection with the Hyman Settlement School started when I was in fifth grade. As a young child, having a high IQ, but not producing adequate work in class. Once I discovered I had dyslexia, and once I got the training at the Settlement School, um, a world of knowledge opened up. I couldn't read enough. I, I couldn't go to school long enough. I couldn't uh, get enough degrees. And that's basically why I went into education, so that no other child would have to feel that way. I don't want any child to ever, ever go through the feelings that I felt as a child. In the last decade, thousands of adults have earned their GED certificates through the settlement school, and a significant number of adults have learned how to read. This program began about 20-some years ago with a call to me for, of a lady wanting to learn how to read. Uh, she had become a newborn Christian, couldn't read her Bible. And then you think about folks like Connell Polly, who was this uh, older gentleman here in our community, could not read and write, a very brilliant man who decided finally he was tired of not being able to do this because of a lot of things that happened. It's just like being blind. That's what this friend of mine, he's, he's a minister, he's, uh, was, I took him in my confidence, you know, I was telling him about it and told him my problems I couldn't read. And so he said, well, I know where we can get some help. That's how I'm myself was good. I mean, these people say who couldn't read and write us, they're intelligent. They just can't read. We've worked with an average of 200 to 250 adults at any given time. But this is giving these adults a second chance in life. And we're very, very proud of that program. It boggles your mind that one human being would cure, this day and time, one human being would cure that much about another human being.
From the beginning, the Settlement School has been active in preserving and teaching the art, music, literature, and crafts of the region. Special events include the annual Appalachian Family Folk Week and Appalachian Writers Workshop. And throughout the year, the school stages a variety of performances and events in the community and public schools in the area. The Settlement School brings other parts of the world into the community through music and uh, all the different programs that they have. To me, the Settlement School's always been a place of wonder and delight. It's done a lot for our community uh, in a way of keeping our uh, heritage alive. As we go forward, we need to remember the past. And the past is made up of a great many little things like that. They seem unimportant in themselves, but taken together, they form a culture, you know, it all that is a less vanishing. One of the co-founders of the settlement, Miss May Stone, was a longtime DAR member. And so that group has been a, a you know, a partner with us since 19 and 20. And what I'm getting at is this place has been, been dependent on people who are willing to give way beyond the call of duty. It will live after us and it will do for others what the settlement did for us. When you support the Hyman Settlement School, you touch lives. Um, it's not like you are supporting a, a cause that you don't see results from. A gift to us is really an investment uh, in the future of children and adults and uh, our cultural programs. Hyman Settlement School holds a special place in my heart, just like it does for so many, and I'm honored to serve on its board of directors. Every time I step on that campus, I'm touched and reminded of this great school and its mission of being a quality service provider for the people of Eastern Kentucky. Hyman Settlement School is a bridge from not having a chance to having a future. It's a bridge from isolation to, uh, to expansion of the mind. For me, the Hyman Settlement School was a bridge from thinking I can't to knowing that I can. It's just a place of love. It's a light in my life that it will never go out. Hyman Settlement School's rich tradition of 100 plus years is a testament of its commitment to the people of Eastern Kentucky, and we appreciate your financial support.